Hello, wondrous one. It's Jamie Flares here. I'm stopping by with a little bit of astro education, just a short bit, high level, uh, in case you're curious about astrology and astrology and, <laughs> and you want to know a little bit more. So, so my, I'm answering the question today, like, what's all this business about houses and signs and planets? Like, what are these? Like, what, what does that mean? You know, what does it mean? So I want to break those down. So the planets, uh, there's this hermetic principle called as above, so below. So fundamentally, the idea in astrology is that the energy, the planetary, the planetary bodies hold consciousness just like we do, just like plants do, just like animals do, right? And they embody certain characteristics. And this quality of as above, so below is that there's something out in the cosmos that's represented and, and held by each of these planets or planetary bodies, such as asteroids or the sun or the moon, that have a, um, a, a relationality between to something that's inside of our psyche. So as above, so below. So we have an inner Saturn, we have an inner Venus, we have an inner Mercury, etc. right? So the planets each represent some aspect of self. So the personal planets, that's, and I know I'm going to use planets use loosely here because I'm about to name the sun and the moon, uh, but the personal planets, sun, moon, Mercury, Mars, Venus, Jupiter is kind of like um, the gatekeeper. Um, these are aspects of ourselves. So, you know, quick, Mercury represents the mind. The moon represents where we come from. The sun represents the fuel we burn. I talked about this in another video. Uh, the Mars represents our inner masculine. The feminine, uh, Venus represents the inner, inner feminine. Uh, and so those are really the, the inner planets. And then the outer planets are more transpersonal in nature. So it's how we interface with the world. So it's not necessarily like what my mind is or what my feminine is or what my masculine is energetically, but it's... Um, you know, how do we experience limits and boundaries out in the world? That's Saturn. How do we in incrementally grow and mature through our lives? That's Saturn. Jupiter is how do we expand? In what ways do we expand? What are the fastest path? What are the fastest ways to reach, um, to, to move along our life path? Uh, that's out there, right? Pluto, how do we experience transformation and death and rebirth through this lifetime? Right? So the planets are the, the what, right? So they're the what. And then the signs come in and they say, okay, what are the, this is the how, like, or this is the, like the, it's a little bit more specific. So we have, for example, our Venus, like this is my inner feminine. How does she want to express in this lifetime? What qualities does she want to experience and embody? Um, what is the flavor of the feminine that I'm here to embody? right? Um, the mind, Mercury, what sign it's in is going to tell us what is the flavor? What are the qualities of the mind that you're here to embody? Are you here to be primarily intellectual? Are you here to be very feelings based or very sensory based? You know, what, what are the qualities of that part of you, right? So the, the signs give us the flavor. And then we have this third layer, which is the houses and the houses tell us where in our charts, AKA where in our lives, that energy wants to express most. So it could be in our realm of personal identity. That's the first house. It can be in our area of home, roots, and inner world. That's the fourth house. I'm just giving a few examples. It could be in the realm of the 10th house, which is um, our outer reputation and how we show up in the world, right? It can be in the house... Um, it can be in the fifth house, which is the house of creativity, right? So it's like where... You know, the houses say where. So the planets are the what, the signs are the how, like how does that want to express, and the houses are where. So I can just, I'll just pull an example out here. Uh, so the what, let's use, um, let's use Mercury. So Mercury is the what, the how is how that Mercury wants to express. So it's Mercury in, um, let's say Mercury in Scorpio. Actually, I have Mercury and Scorpio, um, so I know this one. <laughs> so how the mind is meant to work for a Mercury and Scorpio. It gives So the sign gives the quality, right? So Scorpio is deeply feeling, um, is energetic, you know, works with the energetic. So, you know, oftentimes Scorpio and Mercury can like feel things and intuit things. And that's how they come to know things versus just being a mental way of knowing. 
And then where, so where does this energy specifically in my life want to shine the brightest, right? To be, uh, and let's say it's in the, uh, sixth house. So this energy, particularly in my life wants to be expressed. I'm just making this up. Mine's not actually in the sixth house, uh, in my sacred work, in my sacred service in the world. It could also show up in relation to my health in some way. So that is the planets, the signs, and the houses in astrology. And I just want to say one more thing that's kind of cool is that, you know, we have these three layers, these three aspects, kind of fundamental aspects of the chart. They each kind of layer up. So in Western astrology, we call it rulership. Um, in shamanic astrology, we don't call it rulership because we're moving away from hierarchical models of, of explaining it and relating to the world. Uh, and so I like to use the word resonance. So there's a resonance between each of them. So I'll give you an example here. This is hopefully not to confuse you. Well, it is not to confuse you. Uh, so let's just take the first house. The first house as a house is our identity project, who we're here to, um, to be. Well, that's actually the path we're here to walk. And depending on what other planets are there, we could also have kind of personal identity work in those parts of ourselves. The first house is associated with the sign of Aries. So Aries similarly is the sign uh, associated with the self, the autonomous, whole, independent, but really interdependent uh, self. And what is it like to be me, right? To be myself, Aries. And then there's that third layer. So first house, Aries, and then the resonant um, planet is Mars. So Mars, Aries, and the first house correlate, they resonate. They're not equal to one another, but they, are, they share resonant qualities. And so we begin to get this kind of multi-layered kind of picture um, as we look deeper into the astrology. So I hope that answered any questions in case you were curious about what's all this sound, um, planet sign house business in astrology. And if you're curious to learn more and how this all plays out in your chart, um, get in contact with me. Um, it's these layers that make each of our natal charts, each of our birth charts, completely unique to us because there's so many pieces and so many different ways that these these um, these pieces can can um, express in a chart. So that's what makes it unique to us. I hope that was interesting. I'd love to hear whatever questions you have, whatever thoughts you have, and please reach out if you're curious to learn more. All right, be well. Bye bye.